Good evening. It's me, the man, the myth, the legend, Ragewood here. Back with another video looking at our weekly Golden Vulture Arena battle. Uh, we'll go through this together as we normally do, and I'll let you know my picks. So, I have lost the last two, so I'm looking to, to get back into winning ways myself. So, here we are with the red team. Terrible pictures, as always. So, we have Durango with defense down, some skill haste gloves, Emperor set, Dalbum's our tank. Blast Jar, crit damage, loses a debuff. We have Lothair, give him attack when people die. He's exclusive, Hexandra, and Furbath. Lothair, pretty low enlightenment, 320. High attack though, 4,600. Durango has 32 skill haste, so not making a huge amount out of those gloves. He is crit cat though. Low crit damage. Furbath. Bit of a tanky boy. Dolbrum doing a little bit better. Again, very hard to see from the website they really need to sort that out i believe though if you go onto the uh, discord they have the pictures up there so um hopefully you'll be able to see them a little bit better yourself okay so here we are so we're all flipped over um so against the other team they are going to be sort of like down here just these three spots and then these three back here okay all right so they're all getting through a baths thing as well and then over to the blue team we have the arachnid needle needle so there's a small percentage chance that guland will do her ultimate again um aerial arena zarloth we all know how good he is the uh, more damage to people with defense down. So I guess the idea is you hope you proc it there and it triggers. Ripper Cass. Yeah, Blast Jar. Bial Vernal, I think her name is. Oh, oh, in a very fast sort of. Well, she will be. She'll have at least 20 skill haste, 120 plus whatever's on the gloves. So she's getting. Good use, sorry, whatever's on the runes. Good use out of the gloves. Enna, I don't get Enna there. Mona Lee set. She's not going to be, she puts heals over time rather than big heals. So, I mean, 50% of getting a tiny little extra trick. Sorry, tick of heal over time. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Slightly more legible, 120k HP, 3k defense, a lot of accuracy, some resistance, Gulend, 3000, not crit capped, she sat at 94%, a little bit of damage, some accuracy. Yeah, Bile Vernal, why am I always unsure? Let's just refresh our memory on what uh, Bile Vernal does. There she is. So, when the ally takes damage, has ten percent chance of converting twenty percent of the damage into healing. When an enemy receives healing, ten percent chance of converting into okay. All is all forty percent chance of inflicting stunned. Okay, so she's going to be going pretty quick. I suppose there is a chance there. She gets a stun off. There is that coming into play here. And reducing alt energy. That that could be huge. And I think that is going to be what swings it for me. Only 120 skill haste though. I suppose the question is who's going to go faster? Durango will go first. I forget what his is. But he does gain ultimate up. Zarloth's got recharge speed slow. Enna's going to be clearing the poison dots. 
Well, okay, so they're all over the shop. So if we think Dalben or Furbath, um, I think it's Dalben's going to be head up against Ripicus. We've got going to have F uh, Furbath over here, with the other three immediately behind them. Ooh. That's tough. I mean, not that any of these are easy, don't get me wrong. But I think... I mean, I do think that sort of stun on B B Bile Vanal is going to swing it for me. Yes, yeah, so it'll be Ripper cast in front of Furbath, actually. Ooh. And poisons, because I don't have Durango. You're beating battle, he attacks. Yep. Also five seconds. Was well, three attacks on the enemy. And he's crit capped. I don't know, I still think blue team's gonna take it for me this week. I think blue team's gonna change my two losing streak into a win. There we go. Submitted. Bang. There we go, guys. That is my call for the week. I bet on blue team. Let me know what you're betting on. I will have another pro probably couple of videos coming out in the next week. Another free to play update. I did pull another dupe. Spoilers there. And also, I've been taking a, a deep dive into the season three other world final boss that is a very hard boss and i've spent hours in front of a spreadsheet doing things um i think what i'm going to do is talk about some of the things that um, i've tested some nuances that might not everyone might not know just yet first and then just release a couple of teams that i've seen and that i've tested as well so stay tuned for that as always take care now guys Look after yourselves, work hard, but remember to play harder. And I'll see you in the video soon. Thank you.